I've probably never gone into a city, worked, and left as fast as we did when we went to Brooklyn. Three, two, one. John Driscoll Hopkins is one of the members of the Zac Brown Band, and he has his own music and his own albums, and he was recording a Christmas one, and he asked me if I'd be willing to go with him up to New York because he was gonna be recording one of the tracks with a musician up there, and he wanted to document it, he wanted to film it. And so he asked if I'd come along, and of course, I'm always up for an adventure like that. And so it was an early morning flight. We flew from Atlanta to JFK, went to this really cool studio, in Brooklyn. I mean, it's just, just awesome. Exactly what I would have expected. I'm in this cool studio in Brooklyn. Like two passes through, we were done. We packed up, talked, you know, with them for a few minutes and headed straight back to the airport. And that was it. We were, it was probably lunchtime. I think I had Shake Shack for lunch in the airport. And I was so excited to have Shake Shack because they're from New York. We actually went to Nashville after that and uh, stayed the night because he was gonna record with another musician the next morning. How crazy is this? I was in Atlanta this morning, then I was in New York, and now I'm in Nashville all in one day, right? Early morning, we recorded everything we needed to in Nashville. I'm here just for a couple hours recording with Hop and then I'm headed home. And then we flew from Nashville back home. So within 24-ish hours, we did uh, two cities and got everything that we needed to get for his um, two tracks on his Christmas album. By the way, the Christmas album is really good. I love John's voice, John's music. He's got this really deep, great uh, sound, but he's so whimsical and fun about everything that he does. And so great guy, great music, and this was a great experience. One of those skills that I've kind of just been building up over time just out of necessity is this adapt and make do with what you have and with the amount of time that you have. So as a video director and a photographer, being able to walk into an environment knowing that you have limited resources and limited time uh, and limited control, what are you gonna do with it? And so this is another example of that because we went into this studio that I'd never seen with these people that I did not know and I had about an hour to capture everything that I needed to do and I needed to capture it well because it needed to represent a really good musician. And so that is something I'm still learning every day. Thank you.